All that begins must end. The reign of the old Shogunate is over. Legend of Zama here, doing a uh, Shogun 2 commentary battle for you. Um, a bit of a different video this time. I'm going to bring you a 2v2 on the rice fields here. I'll give you my army and my partner's army, and then we'll show you our opponent's army. We'll start with my uh, partner's army. Here. Let's see if I can get his flags here. Okay, he's um, actually the leader of my clan on Rome Total War, um, leader of the Sith clan. Uh, Sith LDR Eagle, leader, if you don't know what that abbreviation means. Um, so yeah, he's my partner for this battle. Um, I requested if he would like to uh, play some 2v2 with me uh, on Shogun, and he plays Shogun, so here we are. Anyway, I'll just give you his army. He's got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, Bo Ashigaru, um, two of which are veterans, and he's got... Six uh, Yari Samurai um, and some Katana Samurai mixed in there. Let's see, two Katana Samurai, four Katana Samurai, and three Yari Samurai and four Katana Samurai. And he's got two more Yari Samurai. One is named um, Sacred Band because, of course, he's a Rome Total War fan, so they usually name uh, their uh, names or their um, their unit, their veterans, like that. It's kind of a cool idea. And he's also from Portugal, so he's got some uh, Portuguese names in there, I believe. Uh, yeah, so he's got four, five Yari Samurai, four Katana Samurai, two, three, four, five Yari Cav, and of course his General's Bodyguard. So, so that you can see my flags here. My army, I've picked the, I've actually copied the Hannibal Bonaparte's uh, flag colors. Or at least very similar, but a different lawn. Um, he uses that swan um, s icon, and I'm using this sort of flowerish uh, symbol. So anyway, I brought my three katana uh, samurai veterans: a five, a seven, and uh, eight chevron units. Wow, I didn't even know I had those guys to eight chevrons. Anyway, and then I brought two uh, matchlock ashigaru level five or five chevrons on both of them, and then three. Yari Ashikaru and two, uh, a bow warrior monk, uh, level nine, and a uh, whistling death uh, Deku samurai. There, and then I brought my two great guard um, veterans, first cav guards of Zelda and uh, great guards of Link. For those of you who have never played the game, you should probably know that. Uh, two katana cav as well, and of course Link. Let's see if I can get a find him here. I've given him the armor of Usagi uh, Kinshin, uh, Eric Carthage's favorite general, so I figured I'd use some of his armor. I'm not using his entire armor set, just most of it. I do not have his uh, sh um, chest armor. I have his helmet, his shoulder pads, and his thigh guards. And uh, that's about all. So anyway, um, let's take a look at my uh, my opponent's army, and then we'll take a We'll start on my side of the battle, we'll just watch my side of the battle, and then I'll come back and do uh, my uh, allies' uh, side, or eagle's side. So, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bow warrior monks. Nope, make that eight. Eight bow warrior monks, no veterans in them at all. Let's see, let's make sure that's eight. Yep, that's eight. Now that's a bow spam for you, and a very powerful bow spam too. It's a good thing they're not veterans. And he's got, let's see, 
two Match Hulk Warrior Monks kind of stuck in the middle there. And then he's got one, two, three, four Yari Ashigaru, and one, three, four, five Lone Sword Ashigaru. Um, that, I do believe, is his entire army, and of course his general, his bodyguard here. Uh, my opponent, his name is Madness, I believe he's a, a nine star, I think. And then uh, Eagle's opponent, PH33R. This guy is a 10 star, so you can tell by their army um, s kind of uh, setup that they're a little bit more experienced, but I'll talk a bit more about his army later. So let's start this battle going here. So me and Eagle, being the experienced uh, Room to War players playing on the grassy flatlands a lot, we're pretty used to this sort of style of map. So we are just going to let our opponents come to us. For one thing, we have cover in the forest, whereas they do not. And he, at this point, I have cav superiority. I have some very powerful cav units. Um, pretty well suited for taking down this guy's army. And he actually starts to spread out his forces a little bit more, not in this big brick formation. So we're going to fast forward this a little bit here, because he's just setting up. Okay, so I'm going to start moving forward now into the cover of these woods. And he actually has two great guard of his own. And they were hiding in this forest here. Um, a two chevron and a, non a non-vet. Um, I have my cav. Seeing that he only has two weakened great guard and I have my four cav, I can pretty easily take him down. Because I have great guard that are quite a bit better than, the, than his great guard. Let's see. Looks like he's upgraded um, the melee attack on those. So I already have better melee attack on my great guard because of my retainers that I've given. I've given them plus two melee attack on all cav units. So he's going to engage me right away, which is a bit of a foolish mistake. I am going to immediately pull my katana caver out for uh, flanking maneuvers. And that'll open him up to a side charge by my great guard, like that and a front charge and I'm gonna turn around and slam into him from behind. This great guard is already reduced to pretty much zero. This great guard ha uh, has survived a little bit more. And now it is down. Now this one's down to 15, that one's down to 21. So my great guard got um, about, about uh, over 50 kills uh, both of them. So he's going to try and send out Yari Ashigaru to help out, but it's too late now. And yeah, so I've destroyed his cab, so now I have cab superiority. So now I'm going to march forward into these this forest here so I can uh, better protect myself from his archer spam here. So the key here is my cab, which will be a very dangerous um, thing for his bows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my maneuverability against my opponent and make him pay for his loss of his cav. So I'm going to open fire on his matchlock warrior monks because those are probably the most danger to me right now. His bows can be easily dealt with, um, providing he's not too clever with his bows. So he's going to bring him forward. I am sitting in the um, almost in the woods here, and my bow warrior, my uh, Nine Chevron Bull Warrior Monks um, are 200 range Bull Warrior Monks, and because of my general um, being right nearby, they have 97 reload and 97 accuracy and 200 range, and they are inspired as well. So they will do very well, but they will suffer heavy, heavy casualties because of what um, what is happening here. Anyway, I'll just pause this quick. Um, I have succeeded in outflanking him, and now he is in big trouble. He has now left his general unprotected, his archers unprotected, and I am just completely outflanking him here. So I'm going to slam into the backs of uh, this his bodyguard with my um, my uh, katana cav here, which will rip apart his all his forces right there. They're racking up quite a few kills. This great guard gets uh, caught up. Um, 
on his spears that he brings in quick. But I'm outflanking him again with my other katana cap, and they are ripping his um, soul, uh, sword force to utter shreds here. So this guy's racked up 95 kills, this one's got 110, and all his troops are wavering. I still got a great guard yet. So we're, he's already in a pretty big problem, and he's basically running around in disarray. He's not really, um, he's very uh, in a very confused mass. So I'm going to bring in my uh, depleted great guard there. Uh, this one actually fought very well against these Yaryashikar. And he's going to hammer into this matchlock unit. I'm showing you this in slow motion because it happens very fast. Um, hope you don't mind that. Uh, it'll allow you to see the battle a lot better. So right now I've separated all his spears. He should be sending spears back to support, but uh, he is unable to do so because I've split up his forces so much that he can uh, not support. So I'm going to hammer into this lone sword with this and just look at the devastation that my great guard caused. Uh, my katana cav are shredding these units to um, pretty much nothing left. They have all routed. His entire sword force has routed and shattered completely. Oh, wait, there's still one. But he will shatter completely. And um, I've taken out his sword force with um, hardly any casualties. Um, Cost-effective attack, that was. So now his entire army is starting to waver. I'm sending in my Yari Yashigar, and he's trying to um, create quite a bit of devastation with these uh, fire arrows here, but uh, my Yari Yashigar are a meat shield, so he's doing exactly what I want him to do. So right now I'm just shredding his troops to, to pieces here. Um, so at this point he's already lost the battle. His troops are pretty much all in, uh, are all routing. I have now caught his bows with uh, my uh, nine chevron bow warrior monks are damaged beyond repair, but uh, my whistling death DQ samurai have not taken a single casualty and they have racked up 97 kills. Uh, these Yariyashigaru will pretty much mop up the rest of his troops along with my uh, katana cav and great guard. Um, my katana samurai are now just coming in. Uh, they suffer very few casualties and get very few uh, kills. My cav really did the damage here. Um, because of me being able to take out his cav, I was able to make him pay for his loss of maneuverability, uh, making him cause a lot of disarray, and um, that ultimately led to his downfall, especially the fact that he spammed bow warrior monks. So they're almost all routing now can see um, how much lone sword devastation there is. These are all lone swords. It's just a field of lone swords. Those peasants died very quickly to my uh, samurai cav. So you can see here, look at all the amount of troops running away, and these katana samurai, my link shish kebabers, will um, pretty much wrap up last of them along with some of my uh, ca uh, cav, great guard and such. My katana cav got uh, over, this one got 332 kills, that's insane. And my katana cav, my other one got 261. My great guard of Zelda got um, 230, probably over that. Uh, my bow warrior monks only got 106 kills. Um, so Eagle's going to send a little bit of help, but it's no longer needed. I have utterly annihilated my enemy. So there you can see the um, the use of tactics that I uh, that I um, the use of maneuverability and how powerful cav can uh, katana cav can be when they are um, left un uh, undefended, especially against lone swords and the and uh, undefended sword units. Let's see how many kills these guys got. They got over 200, almost over 200 now. What about my Katonic? They got 356 kills. I think that's all they got. Anyway, we'll just pause it here and I will stop the recording and then show you Eagle's side of the battle.